Hello guys, I'm David Fields and welcome back to Field Skills. In this fourth installment of our Food Stuffs series of videos, I'm going to talk today about spices, uh, things that will help us make our food taste better. There's no reason we should have bland, bad tasting food out there. Carry some things with you that will help you make the food taste better in the woods but spices also we want to talk a little bit about types of drinks and uh, additives for dr our water to make uh, something good we would enjoy uh, sitting by the fire and drinking at night and then we're going to talk about snacks uh, too uh, just some of those easy during the day when you're hiking scouting hunting uh, some snacks you can have in your haversack your side fanny pack, your small pack to carry with you to help uh, keep your carbs, keep your calories I should say, up uh, uh, during the day. So uh, let's move the camera and set up and we'll talk about spices, drinks, and snacks. Okay guys, spices. Let's talk about ways to flavor and make our food better when we're in the woods. Uh, there's so many options out there, and everybody has a different palate uh, where they like to, uh, way they like their foods to taste. Uh, but there's so many options to do it. Uh, you know, you can go with mixed spices like an Old Bay, Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning. Uh, we get this everywhere down in South Mississippi. But uh, you can flavor your noodles, your pastas, uh, the meat that you catch or trap or uh, secure in some way out there. Works great uh, to flavor those if you like a little spice, a little hot uh, to it. Of course, you can carry hot sauce in with you. Uh, for a lot of people, hot sauce makes everything better through that. Uh, I've got this uh, mixed multi-spice kit with the little snap tops on here but it's got paprika, curry, cayenne pepper, garlic salt and then salt and pepper uh, in there to uh, mix your own mixed spices and make the food so if you're uh, in a good you have a a niche, a knack for cooking and, and know which spices you like and how to use them you know, something like this may be what you look for through there. But uh, taking spices. Now, some of the things that are you can do or other prepackaged things in here is zesty Italian salad dressing season. It's got all the Italian herbs and spices in there. Create you some noodles, uh, some ramen noodles, plain, add some zesty Italian seasoning and some olive oil, which we'll talk about in a minute in there and make you a pasta salad type thing if you might be or ranch dressing you can get packets of those uh, to mix up ranch dressing but mix it with some pasta noodles and uh, a seasoning that you uh, might like uh, taco seasoning you could uh, uh, no matter what you got uh, caught cooked up uh, create some tacos and with the flour tortillas that you, uh, we talked about in our carbohydrate video, uh, you can make your own burritos out in the woods through there and uh, creating, finding some uh, various wild edibles uh, through that, you know, have tacos one night through there. So there's so many spices and uh, uh, things that are available and find a way to what spices you like and then a way to carry them in. One of the spices I almost forgot here was bouillon cubes. These are reduced sodium beef and you can get chicken and regular beef. Actually I think those are regular beef in this old uh, reduced sodium bottle but carry bouillon cubes in if you're making a stew of soup. 
uh, with some rice, beans, whatever you may have on the carbohydrate side. It will help flavor that up or flavor uh, just meat that you catch using bouillon cubes. Having a few of those along can work well. So seasonings help us create flavor in our foods and uh, develop what you like and, and what you like to carry with you and carry seasonings with you to uh, make your food taste better when it's in the woods. And I put as part of the seasonings is olive oil. Carry some oil, whether it's vegetable oil, peanut oil, coconut oil is supposed to be real healthy and all the rage now. I usually carry olive oil uh, in a small squirt bottle. If I catch fish in my little frying pan, I can squirt some olive oil in there and saute, fry that fish. Uh, fillets in that pan and uh, with the spices, the Old Bay or Tony Sacheries or just salt and pepper. You've got a real good tasting thing. So uh, carry a little small squirt bottle with you of olive oil uh, or the oil that you like to cook with. So spices are a big part of making our food taste better when we're in the woods. So spices, we also in this video want to talk about drinks. Uh, uh, the things, the, as we hydrate, sometimes water gets old. Uh, and getting good purified water, we want something that we can add to our water to make it taste better. So let's start with breakfast. I like these Folgers Coffee Singles. They're uh, packaged kind of like a tea bag, but with coffee. Put it in your cup, pour hot water in it, let it steep a few minutes, seconds, and uh, you've got a basically a fresh brewed cup of coffee there. Uh, I keep this in my day pack and I'll just some either Taster's Choice or Folgers Instant Coffee Crystals. Heat you up water, uh, pour a pack of this in and you've got a cup of coffee when especially it's cold and rainy out and you get into a dry place, get your fire started, heat you some water and make coffee. But with breakfast, coffee is great. Uh, through that. During the day and lunch uh, things, one of my favorites is you can get all of these they are unlimited, the flavors of uh, flavoring packets for water uh, available out there. These are great value and my favorite is I usually just carry lemonade. Uh, I like the lemon flavor of water, a bit of lemonade, but you can also get this as iced tea with lemon in it uh, for supper at night. Might carry a pack with that during the day keeping my water uh, flavored as lemonade. But you can get this is peach mango drink mix, wild strawberry drink mix, fruit punch drink mix, uh, wild berry pomegranate drink mix. So uh, there's so many of these just to flavor your water. Of course you can Think about energy if you're hiking, uh, doing a long uh, hike, uh, a week or two during the day, you need some energy. This is great value energy mix, uh, lemonade and tea flavored, but to uh, provide some electrolytes and things. Of course, you can get Gatorade uh, and Powerade type drink mixes to go in there. This is something Benefiber, fiber drink if you need fiber and uh, to get things regulated in the woods. Maybe you need some fiber along through there. Uh, and one of the interesting things for a breakfast or any time really, but I found Yoohoo chocolate drink flavored. So uh, if you want a chocolate milk type thing, Yoohoo packets are available for you for a drink of chocolate milk. So of course we're going to always be able to boil and purify our water. But uh, a lot of times we want our water to taste better and these things will fit in anywhere. They weigh nothing, they take up no space and you can have uh, flavored water, teas. We didn't talk about these. At night I like to have a cup of green tea. I carry some sweetener along with me uh, that have been scavenged, uh, picked up. But uh, Tea bags, a lot of people like tea. That's nice after your uh, dinner meal. Maybe you want it for breakfast or anything, but you can carry tea bags. No space, no weight. Uh, hot chocolate mixes. Uh, take that for at night sitting around the campfire. It's cool. 
a nice warm cup of hot chocolate will work well. So, you know, you can take uh, these, again, going to take up no space, no weight, and a lot of ways to make your hydration uh, taste good and not just be plain, plain water. Uh, and these work really well if you're unable to boil your water and you have to use the water purification tablets. Sometimes that has a little strong water, has a bad taste to it. Adding this will help to uh, uh, negate that uh, or offset that taste. So uh, drinks, uh, what we drink is uh, important to us and so prepare with that and you can find all kinds of flavorings and coffees and teas, whatever you like, be able to pack that in your food stuffs as you take with you. And then the other area I want to talk about briefly here is snacks. Whether we're going out for the day hunting, uh, I would dare say all of us carry something to eat and drink in our packs and everybody's got their favorites you know but uh if you're going out carry some food no matter what you're doing if you're not planning to go out and camp you're just going out to hunk, hunt or hike for the day you know carry some snacks with you granola bars peanut butter and crackers uh the beef and cheese we talked about in our protein section okay what I do is carry a small mesh ditty bag here, as you can see. And so for my snacks, I can throw in a granola bar. A lot of people like trail mixes. I like just plain dry roasted almonds, so I can throw a, a pack of those in there. Uh, the nabs or peanut butter and crackers, the Slim Jims, anything like that. Of course, as I'm out there, I want to take, where's my favorite, lemonade. I want may put a couple packs of lemonade in there uh, to help as I go through my water during the day. You know, I like to carry a little candy. Mike and Ike, some Jolly Ranchers or hard candy maybe go in that so that I've got something to uh, replenish some calories I may burn during the day for our snacks. And we talk about snacks too. It's always a good idea to carry some Jif peanut butter or whatever your flavor is. And you can take an old, like this, uh, bouillon cube. I've done that and clean it out, wash it out, and load it with peanut butter from a big jar in the house. It's about a third the size, a quarter or a third the size. So. That's enough to use, uh, to carry with you. You can use it for bait on your traps, uh, but you can use it with uh, some of those flour tortillas we talked about in the carbohydrate uh, video to make a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you brought some jelly packets along with you. A lot of things, so uh, that can be a snack or for a lot of people, and I've heard on the through hikers hiking the Appalachian Trail would keep peanut butter, take a spoon out and just get a big spoonful of peanut butter and lick it for a while as a snack and to put some car, uh, put some calories back into their body. So that can be a snack, it can be a meal, it can be a lunch thing uh, through that. So uh, carrying some peanut butter can be very useful. It's proteins uh, in there, essential oil type things uh, with it. So, uh, you know, when we go out, it's carrying some food, food stuffs, as we talk about in a, uh, out there. But it's also making sure that our food and our water taste good uh, with spices. Carrying along and thinking about how we want to flavor and spice our food and how we want to flavor our water is very important. Well, guys... This is going to end this little series of foodstuffs uh, that we take with us when we go into the woods, when we're planning to go, but also when we're just going out to uh, hike or hunt for the day. Uh, take some food with you, and I hope you learned something from the other previous videos in this one about just preparing and planning, the preparation to go out into the woods, into the great outdoors, and uh, making your food flavorful and fun 
uh, good. Make it taste good. Uh, and what you do with all of these things is you go to the grocery store and spend some time just looking and putting things together and thinking about things. And then get some of them. Come home, get in your kitchen and practice and, and tweak your recipes for these things. But all of these foods are very inexpensive to get. Most of them are just add water type foods that we've talked about, but make them good. Make your time in the woods enjoyable by having a good meal at night, a good breakfast, a good lunch, and snacks along the way, as well as making your water, having a, a flavorful drink during the day, whether it's at night around the campfire with hot chocolate, or in the morning a good cup of coffee or when you wake up in the woods. So, as I end all my videos and, and end this series uh, of foodstuffs, these four videos that we shot today, I always end with a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, Emerson said, Life is not a destination. Life is a journey. So I ask you to join us next time as we journey to self-reliance here in the great outdoors. My name is David Fields. And you've been watching Field Skills. Music